just over 680 lifeguards are being deployed to the city's beaches and swimming pools as part of the Metro's drowning prevention campaign. Our, our communication and our marketing campaign around drowning prevention specifically focuses on the males who are more prone to risky behavior in, in and around water and also to children. So uh, children under the age of 15 are at higher risk of drowning. So specifically boys and, and men in that age category and uh, we want to encourage them and their parents to be specifically vigilant in and around the water. City leaders stress that all drownings last year happened outside of demarcated swimming zones. No lifeguards were on duty in the area. Every year we have tragic incidents, unfortunately. Most of those are caused when people are not listening to the lifeguards, they're not swimming in the designated areas between the flags, or most importantly, they are swimming in the ocean or in the pools after having consumed alcohol. Please, please, please don't do that. So this is part of our beach safety effort. The lifeguards are rolling out. Law enforcement will be on our beaches in greater numbers. Parents, too, have a role to play in ensuring their children's safety. I think the partnership will only be complete if our parents are part, is part of this partnership. And the main responsibility of our parents, we are asking them to take care of their kids. Making sure that when they do go to the beaches, go with them to the beach, one. Make sure you know where they are when you are at the beach. Statistics reveal drowning as the third leading cause of accidental deaths globally. Local leaders have urged beachgoers to be aware of the dangers and to not let their guard down when enjoying some downtime at the coast. Kevin Brunt, Cape Town.